Let's take a look at which plugin is better, the CLA76 or the UAD1176 Rev E. Let's jump into it. What is up, my friend? Jacob here with another video to help you record better, mix better, and even work better. Today, we're gonna be doing a first time for me kind of thing. We're gonna be comparing two plugins. On one hand, we have the CLA76 from Waves, and on the other hand, we have the UAD1176 Rev E. Before we jump into the video, though, I wanna tell you about something very special. If you have not yet downloaded it, I want you to go pick up my free ebook on being a recording studio ninja. In this ebook, I talk about the five main principles that I use on a day to day basis to keep my clients happy, keep them coming back, and even bring new clients through the door. Again, it's absolutely free. I want you to have it. Go to www.mixwithjacob.com forward slash ninja, pick that up. Let's jump into this thing. So I have both plugins open right here. I guess the first test to do would be to get them with similar settings. Again, this is like a first time for me kind of comparing plugins this analytically. Uh, usually I I kind of just reach for one and if it sounds good, great. If it doesn't sound good, I'll take it off, try another one. But I find myself usually reaching for the CLA 76 because I find it has a little bit more of a grit, more of a saturation almost. It's generally just more aggressive than the UAD stuff. I find the CLA models like the CLA 76, the CLA 2A, the CLA 3A. In general, they're a little bit more aggressive than the UAD versions. But I think maybe when we compare them side to side, We'll see, I mean, maybe I'll be surprised. Who knows? Let's take a look here. So I have both open. If I, if, if I automate both of these bypasses over the course of the verse. Let's go like this. So 1176 bypass. So let's say it's on for a bar, or it's bypassed for a bar, then it's back on for a bar. Back off for a bar, back on for a bar, back off for a bar, back on for a bar. Here we go. So then we'll do the same thing, but in the opposite direction with the uh, UAD. So here we're going to go here. I'm going to bypass it for the first bar. Leave it on for the second bar. Bypass it again here. Now, in theory, we should be alternating between both of the plugins. Let's, right now, I have them set to the same settings. I had to gain match this uh, UAD one with this little headroom knob here because with the same settings, it was compressing way more than the CLA 76. And I want to kind of get them to be sort of even just visually reacting the same with the same settings. So I had to tweak the headroom here, but. Uh, it should be pretty comparable in volume now and compression. So let's start it off with. I really be like them sometimes. How can these rappers exist? Yeah, I'm about to make this shit pop. Got the game on lock. Legend I'm on black. Everybody knows. Pull up on a beat and I know I'm next. Cause I know I got it and I'm about to rock. Yeah, she likes that. Work that flow. Pull back up in the city in a rover and wow. I swear. It's almost like the CLA is actually darker. It's like the CLA almost sounds a little darker, which is not what I expected. Let's maybe solo the vocal. Yeah, I'm about to make this shit pop. Got the game on lock. Legend, I'm on black. Everybody knows. Pull up on a beat and I know I'm next because I know I got it and I'm about uh. to rock. Yeah, she likes that. Work that flow. Pull back up in the city in a rover and I swear I'm going to stay millionaire when I get it. First impression with the levels kind of matched and the settings kind of matched is actually the UAD one seems to almost be brighter than the CLA 76, which is odd because in the back of my head, I always thought the CLA would be more bright and a little more saturated, but in the end, no, it's not. The, the UAD is actually a little brighter and more uh, saturated. The CLA 76, I do find is a little more punchy sounding uh, in like the transients of like the, the low end, kind of the fatness of the vocal seems to kind of poke through more. Let's see if I just, the, I, f I still find the 1176 uh, UAD one is compressing a little more. So let's say I just bring up the input a little bit and bring down the output of the CLA and let's do this test again. 
Yeah, I'm about to make this shit pop. Got the game on lock, legend I'm on block. Everybody knows. Pull up on the beat, and I know I'm next. Cause I know I got it, and I'm about to rock. Yeah, she likes that. Work that flow. Pull back up in the city in a rover. And I swear, I'm gon' stay millionaire when I get it. The differences are a little bit subtle, but I find the CLA is more kind of fat and punchy, and the 1176 UAD is maybe a little more uh, grainy in the top end, a little brighter, which I guess both have their pros and cons, really. Let's see if I were to just, with the stock setting that they have, the stock setting of when you load the plugin, because the stock setting can sometimes be a little bit uh, boosted as far as gain go. I know that UAD is super famous for this. Every time you add one of their plugins, all of a sudden your signal is like 2 dB louder. So it kind of makes you think that it's better, but maybe it's not better. It's just louder, right? So we perceive it as louder. We're like, wow, it's so much better. But no, it's really important to level match some things when you're doing these A-B tests and bypassing in and out. Often just a little bit of volume difference is enough to kind of trick you into thinking it's better when maybe it's not. So I'm always curious to know with the default setting of a plugin, what is the gain difference? Already I could see that the default settings on both of these are kind of different with the attack and release times. So let's just, let's do that same test with the automation and let's just see kind of first impression what those stock settings sound like. Yeah, I'm about to make this shit pop. Got the game on lock, legend I'm on black. Everybody knows, pull up on the beat and I know I'm next cause I know I got it and I'm about to rock. Yeah, she likes that, work that flow. Pull back up in the city in a rover and the I swear. CLA is like crazy loud. Let's say I just add them in. Yeah, I'm about to make this shit pop. Got the game on lock, legend I'm on black. Everybody knows. Pull up on the beat and I know I'm next. Cause I know I got it and I'm about to rock. Yeah, she likes that. Work that flow. So the UAD 1176 actually doesn't add much gain, which is nice. It actually feels less loud when I put it on. That's kind of cool. Sound-wise, with the stock setting, it's really not doing any compression. I'd have to almost crank it a little bit. Let's say I bring the input up to 30. Yeah, I'm about to make this shit pop. Got the game on lock, legend I'm on black. Everybody knows. Pull up on the beat and I know I'm next because okay. I know I got it and I'm about to rock. Yeah, she like... Yeah, already the flavor is kind of there. Let's say I, I bring the release down quite a bit and keep the attack around medium fast. Yeah, I'm about to make this shit pop. Got the game on lock, legend I'm on black. Everybody knows. Mm. Pull up on the beat, and I know I'm next, cause I know I got it, and I'm about to rock. Yeah, nice. It is. It is quite bright, actually. This compressor. When when you drive it a little bit, it gets kind of has a, a brighter tone. Let's do kind of the same test with the 1176 by Waves now, the CLA 76. If I just uh, unbypass it on the stock setting. Yeah, I'm about to make this shit pop. Got the game on lock, legend I'm on black. Everybody knows. That's how they get you. Just pull up on the beat, and I know I'm next, cause I know I got it, and I'm about to rock. Yeah, she likes that. That's how they get you. See, it's almost, it's like 2 dB louder. And so right away you turn it on, you're like, wow, it's better. But be wary of that. Uh, it is nice, though, what it's doing. Yeah, I'm about to make this shit pop. Let's Got the adjust game on it a lock. little bit. Legend, I'm on black. Everybody knows. Yeah, it's way louder. On the beat and Let's I know compress I'm next, it. I know I got it and I'm about to rock. Yeah, she likes that. Let me compensate a little bit. Pull back up in the city in a rover and I swear I'm gonna stay millionaire when I get it. Still a bit louder. Yeah, I'm about to make this shit pop. Got the game on lock, legend I'm on black. Everybody knows. Pull up on the beat and I know I'm next because I know I got it and I'm about to rock. Yeah, she... Already, I can tell I like the CLA 76 actually better. It feels a little smoother. This uh, 1176 from UAD almost gets grainy in the top end, which I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah, I'm about to make this shit pop. Got the game on lock, legend it, I'm on black. It, it's doing what an 1176 would do because I've used some real... 1176s and it's it's doing the thing. Uh, quite honestly, the CLA 76 is kind of is kind of slapping the UAD out of the water here for me. Let's do one last little comparison now with both settings that are kind of cool. When you compare both like this, the differences are subtle, but I'm still leaning towards the CLA 76. I like how fat it is. I like that it's not blowing up the top end as much as the UAD. And it's just giving me kind of the sound that I want to hear off the bat. When I dial it in, once I play with it and dial both the, both the compressors in, the CLA 76 wins. And that's it for this week's video. 
let me know down in the comments which you preferred and if you have any other 1176 clone plugins that you'd like to recommend maybe for a future shootout. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all next week. Peace.